Hello. Hello, I'm a couple minutes early. Hello and welcome in. I was just messing around with another, a different project for a different day. Um, getting some things done while I was waiting on Joy Lynn to finish. I better keep these scissors over here. So, hello, hello. She wanted us to come on. She said two to three minutes early because they have to share us with this. Um, so I'm on today. Anyone catching the replay is probably going to be the only ones to see this part. But um, there's an event going on. It is called the, um, uh, oh, shoot, Crazy Crafting Crew. It's in the Crazy Crafting Crew and Craft Around the Clock. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Crazy Crafting Crew and Craft Around the Clock. Yeah, is where the event is. And the event is called March into Spring. And so they wanted us to do something with a spring. So um, you would think that would be easy for me, which I have a million ideas, but I don't have a million springs. <laughs> so I dug and dug and dug through everything. Clock parts, lamp parts, antique parts. Like I'm looking at all my, uh, all my junk that you don't want to see. All my drawers and things are over here. And I found myself three springs and um, I'm going to be using all three springs and I'm going to be doing, where's the other one? That was my main one that I was going to do. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I've got three springs. I got to wait. It's, I still have a minute officially. Hi, you guys. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jackie. Thanks for sprinkling. Thank you so much. Good morning, Lisa and Linda and Kim and Sherry and Deborah and Kendra. Hi, you guys. Hello. So, um... Got you into the groups. Okay, Lisa, so that means I'm ready to go. So here we are. <laughs> Welcome in to the March into Spring event. And um, I we're allowed to use any kind of spring. So I was laying, I've had a project laid out to use this spring. This was the one that I decided to do. And then I um, kind of really liked this spring. It's an old, it's a clock spring. So when you're seeing clock parts, you guys can find... Um, like when you have a, a dealer that's got bigger clock parts, you can find these, um, or on Etsy or eBay. And then I had this dumb little spring too. So it counts. It's a spring, right? So I'm going to take my hour and I'm going to whip out three projects with you guys. So, um, if you know me, I'm not great on comments. I'll peek up from time to time. Um, hi, Pamela. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Hi, you guys. Um, hello everybody. There is Tesh. They're going to be on later today. Hey, Sherry and Norma. Hi, 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 you guys. So I'm going to keep going here because I don't want to run out of time just visiting, which is easy enough to do. So let me, let me grab a sip of coffee and we're ready to roll. So, uh, I think I'll do this one last. So I'm going to do a really easy, easy one. You guys, I have done, and I'll just leave them on. Um, I have done, we're going to make a tassel really quick. We're going to make a tassel. And when I say a tassel and you're going to say, what do you do with these? I hang, this one hangs off of my floor lamp behind my chair and it hangs on the knob. It's also hung on like door cabinet doors. Like I have a real pretty, I have a couple of pretty cabinets and I've hung them off of the doors. And in this particular one, I've incorporated a piece of jewelry and I incorporated a, um, a glass prism that in here, you know, we've been doing projects in here since 2013. So it's, I've been at it a long, long time, but we added old paper to the back of a glass um, thing. And then this is a toy, a glass prism. And then this is a um, toilet flusher from France that I found. There's a fellow at Springfield that, um, at Spring, in Springfield, my bottom of my tassel just fell off. And he, um, he sells French, all, you know, where I told you guys I have a source for all of my English, um, all with the handwriting or not the handwriting, but the writing, the old lost, oh, it's too much to explain to new people, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, and then here's another one where I did a doll head and that was a trick trying to figure out how to get it, um, through the doll head. But, and then this one actually hangs, I keep her for now on this lamp that I made. And so let me show you real quick. You just hang it over the knob and then there, I don't know if you guys can see, but there you go. She, 
just hangs there and looks pretty and that's the idea okay so we're gonna make one so you guys can hang it off of whatever you want to um you can make them as long as you want you can make them as full as you want yes yes linda that's right i can't you know i can't think under pressure <laughs> so okay let's get you guys down here where you all can see i just took some strips of different kinds of lace they're all different pieces of lace and I picked a length I can give you the measurement but I've got thick and thin I didn't do um I think there's a couple pieces of handmade in here um but most of it's just vintage lace I added a little bit of stained seam binding I kind of probably need to um straighten these up a little bit so let me give you a measurement I'm going to guess a couple foot just based on my tile yeah 23 inches about so 20 a couple feet um is this one so you can see how it ends up and then here is a seam binding you guys you know i use seam binding and everything now that is not off the roll that is me getting it wet and wrinkling it um if you want to see um how to do that with your seam binding you can go to my youtube channel and type in seam binding so Anything you're looking for with me on social, I'm going to kind of mix these up because these are all thin. Um, on social media is Tammy Loves Vintage. I'm on TikTok. I'm on, oh, I didn't cut that one. I'm on Instagram and YouTube, and there's hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube that you can search. Um, you can type in lamp and probably, no, oh, I might have done that one in my group. I'm sorry. I was going to say you might see where I made that lamp, but I think that was a group project. Um, Anyway, I'm talking fast because I'm, <laughs> I'm always in the go, go, go on these events, right? I'm always nervous. So speaking of events, I wanted to um, take a minute and thank um, Joy Lynn Decor for inviting me. And let me see, there were a couple of other girls. Um, <sighs> Crazy Mom Creations and um, DNL. Uh, DNL something and she's up next. DNL Create. She's up next. Is that right? DNL Create? I think so. Oops, and this one's the same. I did do two pieces the same. So it's kind of a fat, it's a wide one. It's not thick like a handmade. Okay, so we have that. Then then just to show you, I'm gonna grab some seam binding here. We'll put a couple more strips in just for fun. So I leave it, I don't pull it tight after I've wrinkled it. I kind of leave it. There's my word boinky. I say that word all the time, but but you know what I mean? Springy and wiggly like this. I don't pull it tight. Um, so I measure it loosely. So that's all you do. Lay it out and snip, snip both ends and then you can trim it up later. And then for the tops, um, I pulled, oh, is this? Oh, here's a cup. So I pulled some options for the tops. So you're gonna gather it in the middle and there you go, there you've got your tassel, right? So for the topper, my tassel topper, I could do a spool. Um, yes, Crazy Craft and Crew and Craft Around the Clock are the two groups, they're both linked at the top. And um, you could just, when we're all done, you can just click on that and see the next people up. So here's a little, a little glass, um, the next people like all day long. It's an all day long event and we're all doing something with the spring. Joy Lynn just made some flowers, used the springs for the stem, super cute. But this is a little porcelain knob. This is a little spindle like over your kitchen cabinets. You know how you have the little decorative spindles. And then I have this one, I painted it white and I think I'm gonna do this. I did a little bit of gold leaf underneath. And then um, I think I'm gonna use this one. I really like the look of that. So I'm gonna lay it out here and then there's different ways of attaching your top. You can take your, you can take your seam binding. Let's see if I can find an end. Here's an end right here. And, oh, that's not an end, but let's pretend it's an end. And just go around and tie it, okay? And then thread in your, your topper and tie it again and leave your loop however long you want your loop to be. Um, but sometimes it tends to want to, like your this wants to, come up off of it um, so I'm going to attempt here to I put one in through I'm gonna attempt here to think about how was I gonna do that <laughs> 
Oh, I wanted to show you guys how to do. That. Okay, so yeah, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So you, put, so you put it there. Oh, there's my pencil. Here's my pencil. And um, yeah, so those girls that I mentioned. Um, oops. And I'm just pushing. I'm just pushing this through. Um, the girls that I mentioned, Joy Lynn, um, Joy Lynn Decor, who was just on. And um, DNL Create, who's up after me, and Crazy Mom Creations, which is on later, are the ones putting on this event in the um, Crafty, cr uh, let's see, no, Crafty, cr um, cr Crazy Crafting Crew. They're in the Crazy, sorry, Crazy Crafting Crew. And then, so there's a group, it's free. If you go in your Facebook and search it, or you can just wait till I'm done and click at the top, you can watch all of us. You just pull down on the screen to refresh it. And then there's something called Craft Around the Clock that is literally crafts round the clock on all the time. And um, you guys can watch there as well. So then I'm going to um, tie it off. Wherever. So I was thinking, like, leave my tails long. So I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. And let's see, one should go that way, one should go that way, but it's not gonna matter when we pull it up here, okay? Oh, but I'm way off center. Hang on, let me <laughs> get it centered. Uh, okay, and then when I said you'll need to trim it up, you'll need to trim up like everything and make it all the same. And then with this, what you could do is just tie it off and do a, um, do a knot at the top or you could fish through a button but you'd have to slice you'd have to slice the top and um, put it through a hole uh, let's see I did that I did that on this one here so I put them through a button on the top of this flusher anyway so I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on this but you guys get the idea and then you can secure it and dump some hot glue down in here dump a little hot glue and then um, you could tie like you could also tie a little um, seam binding bow. Let's just do that real quick. Let's see, I need to cut the other end of this. So I've got two raw ends. And then we'll just tie a little bow just to clean this up. I should dump some hot glue in there, but I'm not gonna mess with it right now. Um, Cause we got three projects to do ladies. Uh, okay, so then we'll tie a bow and we'll tie uh here it is i'm just going to tie a bow at the top oh this is rough 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 maybe three was too many to bite off but i think we can do it okay so that's a rough <laughs> that's a really rough bow <laughs> but you get the idea you get the idea oh that's a sad sad day <laughs> do both better than that what the heck happened oh my gosh I'm gonna waste five minutes on a bow are you kidding me are you kidding then and I haven't even done anything with the spring yet then okay there we go and then I'll snip this all down to make it that's better and then you snip it all down to make it better but there you go there's your tassel so then inside of this I thought we could attach uh, let's just do it this way. I thought we could attach some things to the bottom. Of the bow, of the tassel. Okay, so let me just double knot it so it doesn't come off. And then I'll snip the tail later because I want to see what it's going to do. And then maybe just a couple of keys. I'm thinking we'll just throw a couple of keys in here just for, you know, just to give you guys something but there's our spring in there so we just marched right into spring with our spring in the project now they said any spring will do so hopefully you guys can see you don't need to see me I, I'm the worst at putting my camera down yes this is a quickie tassel okay this is a quickie you guys we this is um uh, like a like a snack tassel if you want a gourmet tassel go to Tammy loves vintage on YouTube and type in tassel I'm sure you're gonna get lots of tassel videos where we've made much fancier tassels than this one 
Um, I just grabbed the two quickest ones I could find to show you quickly of the finished ones. Oh, see, they're way too low. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, because I left them boinky and then it pulled the weight down. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, I'm not going to, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to cheat and I'll rig them up later. I'm going to cheat and pull these up. I tied them into the seam binding instead of the lace. But so then, see, you've got your little surprises hanging in your tassel. So when someone looks at it and they're like, oh, what is that? And usually I'll hang like a piece of jewelry, uh, a rhinestone necklace or a pearl necklace or something like that. So I'll zhuzh this up just a little bit because it's just a little bit not done. But I was hoping that you guys would pick up on the, the idea. And if you have a little spring, like what do you do with a little spring? That's one thing you could do. So the next kind of quickie thing that I had in, an idea for, um, I hope that's okay. I hope you guys got that. And um, I know it wasn't perfect because I was trying to hurry. And I wasn't thinking, maybe I should finish it and make it like real. I think you got it though, don't you? You guys got this, I think. Um, all I need to do is, well, let's just do it. I'm just going to do it. Uh-oh, what was that? Oh, my tweezers. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna leave that little bow thing there and just shorten it up. And I'll just add one more little fluff to it. So now I'm gonna test it. That's the right length. I can't, I can't leave it under. You got it? <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. That was a dumb question. But I can't leave a project not perfect, right? That would be perfect. Okay, that's a little excessive. So let's snip those off. Okay, that one's fixed. And then I'm going to snip this one off, leaving those ties, which is a, you know, sometimes they call it a happy mistake when something's good. I think the extra tie on that is an okay thing. So let's see, I've got to pull this way up here. I don't want it the exact same height as that spring. So I'm not going to mess with a double knot. I'm just going to single knot it. It's not going anywhere. And then I'm going to cut that. Okay. I just had visions of that I snipped the whole thing off, but I didn't. When I cut that tail and that spring, I thought, oh gosh, I cut them both. I didn't. Okay, let's get this one better, put a better length. That looks good. Okay, let's see how we do now. Just clean it up a little bit. I know, I couldn't just leave, uh, I couldn't put it over there and leave that. And when the show's over and I hold it up to say, here's what we made today, you guys will be like, what the heck is that mess? Any late person joining is going to be like, what? <laughs> Glad I missed that. Okay, here we go. Much, much better. Now you can see, well, you guys can't, there you go. There's our little spring hanging in there. And here's a couple of keys. And again, just know that I add in lots of little treasures in most of my, there's a couple of keys and the spring right there. So you guys can't see it from this angle very well, but. There's our, there's the bottom of our tassel and there's our treasures inside. Okay, there's our tassel top, there's our bow. There, I feel much better, I feel much better. And I don't, I'm thinking I could have done like a really short something. Again, this isn't an hour on this particular tassel, so I'm not, you know, I can, you could take this to the moon, but like you could put some of your pieces like up here, probably where I should have done it to more highlight the spring since this is March into spring event. But anyway, there you go. There's one idea for you. Now, if you have a clock spring or when you're out antique shopping, if you find a clock spring, do not pass it by. My first idea was to make it a skirt. Let me show you. Uh, where is it? Whoops. Um, on this one, I bought this girl at, she was, her cage was already made, but I added, see the clock spring and I twirled it around the cage and kind of gave her like a wire dress, if you will. She kind of has a wire dress. So there's another idea for a clock spring. If you wanted to wrap it around a bottle. Okay. If you, yeah, up higher might be better. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I mentioned that. Yeah, so there you go. So there's another idea for a spring. Okay, now 
let's do something with this one. So as I was holding it and messing with it, I've tried to bend it and make it be like an actual spring and it, I'm afraid it's gonna snap. I've broken one years ago, I snapped it. It was super brittle. So I don't wanna do that again. Um, so I'm not going to mess with that. Let's see, I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit darker than the others. Okay, so what I was picturing, you guys are gonna, you're gonna be like, that's her project, but you know, sometimes you need simple. So I'm gonna have simple and, you know, a little more difficult. So watch, when I pull this, do you, do you see what I see? I bet you don't, not yet, but you will. Okay, I gotta decide where I want it. I'm gonna make a miniature little wreath. Okay. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to put it right there. Okay, we're going to make a little wreath out of this spring. Uh, Tracy, if you go to, if, if right now, if you type in just one, just type in an exclamation point, just one exclamation point, no spaces, and then type in Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R-E-E, -E, it will pull up like my website and it will pull up my Amazon store and under craft supplies, in my Amazon store. Um, you guys should, if you're ever bored and you wanna shop Amazon, but you're like, I don't know what to shop for, you need to go to my Amazon store. I am a big Amazon shopper and I love gadgets and I have a thing called gadgets, a link called gadgets and there are some really good ones in there um, and then my craft supplies, of course, are probably the same as most of the crafters craft supplies. Um, I'm not going to cut that just yet because I may, how do you want to go? I must have tied it upside down. So we'll see if we can fix it. Okay. I don't know. Are you going to fix? Okay. So I'll leave it upright for you guys. So there is that. And then I was thinking, um, I've got some tags here, which I have some tags on my website. So exclamation point, L-I-N-K-T-R-E-E, -E, exactly how Tracy did it. And that will pop up in your comments. And you guys can, um, it might be too big. Is that too big? Oh, I kind of like that idea. Okay, I'm gonna add this little one here. Oops, I got my price tag on here. I've got some old tags. I have old keys on my website. All of the, um, oh, well, do them all. Somebody just said they were doing going back and forth. I did the same thing and um, I did the same thing. And, oh gosh, this sticker's been on here a while. Um, I ended up and just decided, heck, I'm gonna go fast and do all three. I'm hoping I have time. I'm wondering if I do there that most of it's off of there so yeah i've got tags and keys and all kinds of things on my website if you type in just a single just a one hashtag or not ha exclamation point sorry exclamation point um i had someone type in like five or six exclamation points and then she's like it's not working well she it's just one exclamation point and then the words link tree. You can find things to help you guys craft with vintage things. Like I always just use, mostly use vintage. Uh, yes, I tea stain. So you guys can look um, on my YouTube channel for how to stain your seam binding. Just just go to Tammy Loves Vintage, and inside of that, inside of that little search bar, it will say um, uh, you can type in. Seam binding, and there's several videos showing you how to do that. So I got this really awesome bling. Um, it was an old button. See the see the loop in the back? It was an old button. It's huge, but I kind of like the mix of bling. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add that to the center of my bow, and then I need one more little thing. So I'm gonna tie off a key here. I think I'm gonna add a key on the other tail and we are gonna create a really cute little vignette. Not sure, you guys might you guys might have to wait for the picture after. <laughs> I always, so here's the other thing. I always post a video, I try to always, 
No, no. I try to post a picture after my videos and I'll do it in the group too. I won't, I don't think you can do it in craft around the clock. I've never done that. I, I follow it. But I don't know that. I think it's just a video, an all day streaming video. But in the group, if the girls will let us um, post videos, usually when you do these events, they want you to do that and post the finish. So I will, um, if you guys happen to be watching me in the um, crazy, um, crazy crafty crew group, I'll post it after and I'll show you how you hang the tassel off of a lamp and I'll probably zhuzh it up a little. I wanted to shorten that a snap, but I'm not going to waste time now. I think it needs to be like right there. Can I cheat it with some hot glue lifting it? Maybe. Let's do that. That'll be a lot faster. I'm just going to pull it up here. Give it a little pucker back there. No one will ever see it. And that short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. Okay. And then I don't like the back of this. So, of course, it's got that price tag paper, which doesn't help. No, oh, that's better. <laughs> that's a lot better. But, of course, if it's on a wall, it's not going to be moving as you open and close a cabinet. So, I think that'll be fine. So, there's that. And then I will adhere this. I love that. It needs a little snip of, um, of a bow. I never leave a hole. Never use, leave an empty hole. Like, see, I don't just want to glue that down. I, I try to finish, you know, every little detail. So let's do this. And I'm just going to do a little uh, thing here. So I've never, I don't think I've ever done anything in this group before. I've been on Craft Around the Clock, like in, in groups that have been shared there. But I don't think I've ever done anything in the Crazy Crafting Crew before. I mean, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I don't think so. So I'm excited to have new friends. <laughs> so thank you guys for that, inviting me in. Okay. Um, you know what? Rather than messing with glue, why don't I... I just had an idea. I'm going to tie it. And then I can secure it. So let's tie this. I should have done that. I just now thought of it. Okay. And then let's snip this in. And I'm going to go through just one because I don't want to pucker it over here. So let's just go through that. Like that. And then I'm going to tie. So I don't have a double tie. That's okay. I can make it a little bit it actually it maybe make it just a snag smaller might be too much fluff if that's possible <laughs> uh, yeah I thought so thank you thank you so much uh, yeah I'm always um, tickled so when you get invited to these things sometimes you don't know what you're in for <laughs> like you don't know what the theme is and stuff so I've gotten myself into some things <laughs> before, as you know, my followers know. Oh, I just saw Seth and Linda. Thank you for the stars, honey. That is so sweet. You know how we all appreciate the stars. So, okay. Now, what I thought, what I think I need to do, just to secure this from sliding down or doing anything funny, I need to um, put a little bit of, this is just B7000. And the reason I like the B, sorry, you're looking at the top of my head. Uh, the reason I like the B7000 is it's a much more controlled tip. It's a tiny, tiny little hole. And it like E6000, it's the same thing. Only this is just in a different tube, I think. I mean, maybe there's some they added a little bit extra water or whatever. Who knows? But um, I like it because of that controlled tip. So when you're doing something small, like E6000, that would have been a big thing. So anyway, here is another spring idea for you. Okay. And it's just a cute little wreath. And um, I think it's adorable. So you could keep going and going, but I think I'm going to just keep it simple like that and just make a cute little thing to hang. Besides, so the tassel will be hanging down the little, like a little lamp. The tassel will be hanging down. Then the wreath will be on the wall, like by the tassel, right? And now we need to make our focal point, okay? So we're going to take an old bottle. This is the only thing I did without you that I can think of besides running thread through that um, spindle top. I, I, E6000, a, um, 
a spigot, a nozzle, I don't even know what it is, into an old bottle. And I used a washer because this wanted to go down in deeper and it laid wonky, it laid crazy, and I didn't like it. So I used an old washer. Okay, there's an old washer right there. I E6000 that to the bottle and then I put this old faucet. It's not a faucet, but it's, and it's, it's really um, seized up, like it's really old. Um, but it's the look I'm gonna go for because of the spring. This is my final spring that I'm going to use because I only had three springs in my stash. Literally, honestly, I ran to the bottom of my hill. There's a couple of antique stores and I couldn't find any. Um, uh, I couldn't find any, so um, there you go. So I just go and I thought, well, there's my sign. I couldn't find any other springs and I kind of like, I was torn between the bottle and the wreath, what to do for a project. And then I thought, I'm just gonna do both. And then I, the tassel idea hit me because as I was holding that little spring up to this bottle, it was just a little bit too big and it kind of bugged me. So um, I decided not to use it on the bottle, but I wanted to use it because it was my best spring. So that's when I decided to do a tassel. So there you go, there's the story. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So, okay. In Oh gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. In my Amazon store, I couldn't reach. In my Amazon store as well, I have my favorite spray adhesive. It's called Super 77 by 3M. And um, I'm just going to spray adhesive. Whew. Whew, right in my face. Okay, I'm going to flip it away before I take a breath. Okay. Oh, oh my lungs to glue shut. <laughs> Okay, now I use Super 77 all of the time. I use it for fabric and I use it for paper as well. Um, yeah, let's see here. Okay, so my husband's here. He's on the phone. <sighs> Hi, Jane. Um, welcome. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm, I'm terrible at watching comments. I'm so sorry because um, I'm always enthralled in what I'm doing. <laughs> When I have all the time in the world, sometimes I do take more time to chit chat. Yeah. Okay, so then I get the price of my bottle off of here. And then I'm going to wrap this and smooth it down. I'm kind of going to hold that up because I don't want it to overlap. Okay, oops. And press it down, working it around. Okay, and then I'm going to just catch it like that, right up the middle. I could have overlapped it, but I didn't want to. Okay, now this will be all that you need to hold this bottle for years and years to come. Like you do not need anything else. If, if it by chance something would lift off somewhere, you can always tack glue that down just from picking it up to dust or whatever. But um, really this sticky stuff is amazing and I use it all the time. Okay, so I probably woulda, coulda, shoulda cut this down a little bit. Maybe I will. I think I'll just cut some of this. A little top heavy at the moment. I'm just whacking this off because I don't need all that bulk under here. Okay, just whack, whack. Quack, quacking. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Dorinda. Oh, what is it called? I missed it. Mm, I don't know. Oh, it's um Super 77. If you go to type in... Um, an exclamation point and then type in L-I-N-K-T-R-E-E, -E. you can find it in my Amazon shop. Okay, so now I'm going to cover up this mess because I don't, you know, that's a mess. And a lot of times your, um, like if you use a doorknob and you can't, it's seized up and you can't get the, the stick out, you can cover up you know, a lot of it with doing this trick. So I'm gonna put a little dot of hot glue back here. That's 
kind of a big dot. I didn't need to go that big. It doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna keep. I'm keeping it um, from being wrinkled, and I'm going around, and around. I'm gonna secure it down where it started, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna keep going around here, and inching our way up. And we're gonna clean up this neck of this bottle, okay? And I'm gonna go clear up to the washer, and. Then let's see. I probably ought to put a couple dots of glue somewhere, <laughs> hold it in place, because it's you know we are gonna pick it up from time to time and clean or whatever. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna go around because the glue kind of did it see through? Not really. Mm -mm. Uh, I'm just gonna push it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna work my way back down just so that it looks kind of laced. I guess is gonna be my word, and it's not just. Um, on there, of course, we're gonna pretty much cover it up, but all right, where's the back? Here's the back, and I just glued that, so I'm gonna snip it off right there. Okay, now I'm going to want a bigger one. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to cut both ends, and I'm gonna add a bow here. Let's see, since this is going this way, this little thing is sticking out that way, I'm gonna put my bow on the other side. Just to kind of balance it a little bit. I don't want everything over there. Okay. Oh, I'm sweating, anybody else sweating? Anybody else nervous for me? I wanna get all three projects done. I think, I mean, I think I'm good. I think I'm, I think I pulled it off. <laughs> If I wouldn't have had three springs, I wouldn't have had all this stress. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? I wouldn't have been so stressed out. Okay, you want to finish and have all this time to spare. I'll be like, now what? If I do, I'll look at your comments better. Um, also, if you're new, um, I do go back and look at your comments um, when it's all over. I answer your questions. I post your links. You know, I do all the things um, because I know I kind of, I'm not a watcher of comments, <laughs> so um, yeah, I do. When you compare me to other people, mm, I'm not very good at the comment thing. Okay, I, I don't like this pole right here. I'm not crazy about that. Um, so I think I'm going to do another little bow up here, just a little something, just to soften all of this old you know, just, it's just a lot of coldness for the pretty bottom. Um, but I was trying to keep it a little bit more industri industrial. You know, usually everything is so sweetie and romantic and all that with me, but, um, oh, you're at work, Rola. I just noticed that. Oh, thanks, Susie. Hi, friend. Um, okay. And then I need to tie this one over here since, that bow's over there. I'm gonna tie it over here. So, oh, I know something we could kill some time with at the end if I get done early. It's showing you guys our latest project in the group. Oh my gosh. We did the fly on the wall. We've been doing fly on the wall in our group. It's a fun thing. Um, so many of you, so I have a friend, Julie. We love to craft together. We love to antique shop together. Um, she's got great creative ideas and we just enjoy each other's company hanging out and just having this um, vintage stuff in common. I can remember she introduced me to all of it. I remember her dragging me to antique stores and I'd be like, oh, hurry up, it stinks in here, you know? <laughs> like, are you done yet? And, and I always tell this story. One time she bought this $100 hand-painted pansy picture, oil painting, I about died. <laughs> You spent a hundred dollars on that. Of course, she still has it and loves it to this day. And I get it now, but at the time, I did not like all this antique stuff. Well, believe me, I jumped on the train and went wild with it. It took me years, though. It took me years, but yeah, I'm all in now. And um, okay, so here's what we have. I think it's adorable. But anyway, so Julie likes to craft with me. We didn't always used to craft, but now it's kind of our thing. So. Um, okay, so here are some goodies that I pulled for this bottle. 
Um, and the first thing I'm going to get on here is the spring because I need to make sure the spring gets on there. And what I thought I would do is just like with the tassel, I'm going to tie it. What else would you do with a tiny little spring like this? Anybody got any ideas? Like steampunk something. I was thinking um, I'd do a metal door plate and I was thinking about steampunking a bunch of stuff. It's been a long time since I've done that, but eh, I've done it. You know, I, I guess I've done bottles and tassels. I've done it all. <laughs> so, I don't know. But it's been a long time. It's been a long time on the steampunk thing for sure. I was all in. I've got one. I love it. It's right around the corner. I could get that and show you. Oh, I could just, could I, you guys that follow me know, I could burn up a lot of time just showing you things. If you ever want to see, like, if you ever really want to be inspired, um, yes, I used to have a store. It was called Tammy Loves. When I was trying to figure out what to name it, I was on, um, YouTube looking for inspiration and I found a store I think it's in France and it was called Lexi loves and it was a sewing notions store and I loved that name and I couldn't get it out of my head and I had you know a paper full of names and so I went with Tammy loves so when I closed the store the month before COVID who knew COVID was going to hit and I closed it right before that hit um, I think it was April the first of April and COVID hit in May um yeah, it was uh, it was a very hard thing. My husband never loved it. It was always a, a big thing between us. So um, it was kind of a thorn, a major thorn. So I got rid of it, sad, went through my mourning period and all of that. And then going live as Tammy Loves was just very, I missed my store. So I decided to shake it up. What do they call that when you... Um, not go with the flow, but like go with the flow. Um, what do they call that? I, I can't think of the word, but anyway, I um, did that and I called it Tammy Loves Vintage. So that's how that came about. <laughs> and you're allowed to change your name, I think twice on, at least on Instagram, you're allowed to change it twice. So I did that. Uh, I'm going to add a key here. So I'm glad, I'm glad I did it. Um, I felt like at the time with the store, I loved the idea of Tammy Loves because I do talk a tour so I could do Tammy, yeah, roll with the punches. I could do um, scale, is scaling up, is that what they call it? Scale, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's roll with the punches. That's what I did, Tammy. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh shoot, I was just gonna say something good and I can't remember what it was. Oh, well, <laughs> she got me. He took my brain another direction. <laughs> so I've added a key, which you can find on my website. So type in exclamation point link tree. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, upscale. Uh, this is so fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So I've, I've already got a key on there. I've got a couple tags laying here. Here's a watch face and some buttons. The chain, I was debating on working, like, just, I've got 20 minutes. Oh, gosh, you guys, I have 20 minutes? I do. I was going to say, my, my clock stopped. This is the longest hour ever. Uh, okay, so I have these tags on there, too. These are really awesome. Um, they're all different numbers. Don't ask me for a number. Please don't ask me to find a certain number. <laughs> it takes, I have so many to go through. And I usually don't have the number that you want. So, okay, let's shove this in um just just tying on some fun i'm not sure i can get that through that hole let me see if i've got another this hole is awful tight um might be faster let's see if i got another pin here in my here's one. Oh, that hole's a little better not a lot let's see let's see here let's see here yeah he always I don't know why he decides to get on the phone and talk so loud when I have a live. <laughs> it's been dead quiet all morning and then I go live and he's like in the back. He does it every time. It's like when my little dog was still alive, she would bark and bark and bark. She would be sleeping until I went live. And when I went live, she would bark and bark. <laughs> You'll see her on YouTube if you pull up any of the older videos, there'll be Lola. It's very sad for me when I see her on there. Okay, so I dropped my tweezers and now I... Okay. All right, you guys, so... There we go. All right, I got her. Okay, I got her. 
hopefully it doesn't go backwards. Like it, hopefully it hangs hard. Oh yeah, right there is where I really, really want it. So let's try. Tie that off. There we go. Okay, whoops. See, I didn't want it to do that. There we go. Okay, so now we've got some things dangling off of there, and I feel like I need to add one more thing just because of this tail. What else do I have that'll dangle? Not really anything unless I dangled. Oh, that's kind of interesting to throw a copper mix because I've got silver, gold. That's kind of an interesting thing. Okay, so let's... Uh... Okay, so let's just get that on there. I don't mind it. Get the right length. That looks good right there. Okay, you guys. Okay. If you guys love this kind of stuff, I put my um, newest ideas. We do the fly on the wall with Julie. I started to tell you guys about that too where she and I craft every Tuesday night, we try to get together. And the girls are always like, I wish I had a friend to craft with. I wish I could come. And Dee Dee Schwab, who's been following me for years and years, um, um, she had the idea of calling it the fly on the wall. And I absolutely love it. We just, we don't really, we talk to you guys, but not like we're doing a show. You know, we literally are having our craft time together. And um, we've done two or three of them this month in there. It's just a new thing for us, but we're really loving it. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's see. I'm going to put it upside down here. I'm going to see. I could kind of like that. Uh, I feel like I, I laid out a couple of earrings just to mix it. Let's see. I'm not crazy for the pearls. No, I don't like the pearls, but I do like this one. So these are old rhinestone earrings. They don't even match. I just pulled a couple of different options out. Kind of like that for there. And I'm kind of, so there's my spring. Don't forget my march into spring is right there. Um, but yeah, we've just really, the group, we've been doing a lot in there, a lot more than ever. Um, and I just feel like I do you guys a disservice by not letting you know we have it. There's 90, there's 92 people, only 91 are in. One more lady, I, she signed up, she bought a whole year to get that last month free, and she never came in the group. So, Susan, if you're watching, I'm watching for you. I'm waiting for you. I've messaged you three times. I've emailed you three times. And um, I've reached out to Tara. She's a friend of yours. And told her that I'm trying to get you. I feel like it's too, it's too dark. So is this better instead of, this is a little bling. It's an old pin. A lot of the stones are missing, but it's got that look. Is that better than this? This is kind of out of place, maybe. Let's do this, and maybe we'll put a clock face in here. How about that? Oh, I kind of... Oh, the back is broken. Okay, so let's <laughs> back off. Uh, let me see if I can snap this off without breaking the pin. Okay, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to cut the pin part off. And I think this is going to go here, yes. Okay, so let's get some hot glue on here and stick that there. And then, yes, I oh, I don't like that silver showing. Maybe I can bust this bow around enough. I bet I can't with all the stuff hanging off of it. Hmm. I really need that to come off of there, don't I? That's a detail we can work on later. Okay, then I feel like maybe just like a little, no, that's too much. It's just going to have to go down like it is. 
Okay. And the up top, I had it upside down. So it's going to go like that. I'm going to tack it with hot glue for now. And then um, I know I've started like 10 stories and then don't finish them. But that's, you know, to know me is to know me. That's how I roll. Um, <laughs> so you just have to remind me. Okay, so I'll tack that down. That definitely needs E6000 or B7000, but I don't have I don't have the dry time luxury right now with you guys watching. So now what we need to do is I I want to find. Hang on, I'm sorry to step out a second, but I gotta find. I didn't have everything I needed. You know, you don't always know where these things are gonna go or how they're gonna be. Um, but I want to see if I have like a small round I'll let you guys see what I'm digging here no they're all too big I don't know that I have that one's borderline oh what's this no I don't like that <laughs> I'm nervous but I don't like it <laughs> oh, I might have to go with a button you guys I don't have a small enough face um, I was hoping I had a little, probably upstairs for the website. Lots of clock faces on the website, too, for you guys to craft with. Um, ah, shoot. There's a flywheel. What would that do in here? No, it's too, like, you can't really tell. Okay, forget that. All right, let's get, let's get some buttons. Let's get some buttons, and we'll figure it out. Okay, so... In my button stash, I'm going to lay some out here. Let's see if I can't find one the right size. So I always use the buttons with the string in them. I need kind of a yucky button. Oh, that one's got all kinds of cracks in it. Look how cool that one is. Doesn't have a string, but can you see the cracks in that thing? It's too big. Darn it. Okay, so here's a little one, but it doesn't have any strings and it's too little. Let's see. Oh, gosh, I'm going to burn up all my time. Here's one with a string in it. It's too way too bright. Okay, I need some more. Let's see what I want. Okay, let's, let's see. That one's too bright. Wait, I need like a mother of pearl with a string. Here, what's this one right here? Maybe I'll put it on backwards. Oh yeah, that fits perfect. And look at all this. So it's got its string. When I say it's string, see the string in there? But look at the back string. I'm going to put this upside down. I'm going to use that string and this is going to be the center of our pin, and I'm going to show you in a second. But now I want to dip in here to my little tiny buttons and see if I can't find a little one for the middle of the clock face. It's a little bit too big. Ooh. Oh, I lost it. I saw one, and then I lost it. That's always an issue working out of this big bowl. Let's put this aside. The perfect one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here's one, and it's just like that one. And what if I do it upside down? Oh yeah, doing it again. It's got the string. I know it's really there. You can see the string in the middle. I'm gonna put the the glue on the front side, and I'm gonna glue it down. And I'm going to leave the strings hang out to for texture, okay? Okay, so let me push this back. Let's get these out of the way so I don't have to pick them all up when I spill them. Okay, so <laughs> I have this whole great big table and I always end up with this tiny little space to, to work in. Oh, my word, my word, my word. Okay, let, let me shove some stuff out of the way so it's not so ugly for you guys to look at. I ended up and didn't use the chain. I was thinking, oops, I was thinking that maybe I could hang something like off of this part of the chain. Oops, that's my necklace. Might have been cool, but I think I've got enough stuff hanging. I don't think I, I don't think I need that, but it was a cool, it was a cool idea, right? <laughs> I think, I think it was. Anywho, all right. So, there you go. We did it. We did it. We did all three. So now let me show you what I was thinking. I'll put you up here just a little bit. Uh, oh, thank you, Rebecca. TJ Maxx. It's, I get everything at TJ Maxx. It's like we have a Kohl's, TJ Maxx, Walmart, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of what else. That's about all we got. 
So I live in a very small town. So, okay. So picture, if you will, let me get, let me get this. So girls, I hope you're all good. I, I'm raising this up. That, I really liked it higher. One of you got, or one of you girls agreed with me when I said that, that it needed to be higher because it's like the pretty part of this. And then I didn't snip all the bottoms off to level them out either. So let's do that because we still have 10 minutes. Holy heck. We are like, whoops, I cut a, I hit a key. <laughs> I hit a key. Okay, so let me find a strip here. I really love the dark on that one. So I'm gonna find a strip and I'm gonna I'm gonna dye this one more thing and dye, you guys. With all this ribbon on it, it's gonna be the prettiest spring. Prettiest spring around. Well, I've always loved this little spring. I've had it for years. I've never done anything with it. And I'm telling you what, this is this is like the third time this has happened with well, what else did I make the other day? Oh, I remember. Oh, I wish I could show you. I posted it here when we made those Walmart bunnies look old and then I did that it was so fun those two dollar bunnies it was so fun I um I ended up doing three and made a centerpiece from it gosh I should run and get it it is the coolest thing you guys might still have them at your Walmart oh I didn't still didn't get it short enough anyway I love it it's in the other room too what was I gonna get I was gonna get two things I should just go get them what was the other thing? Oh, the door plate. I am. I got nine minutes. Let's do it. Hang on. Okay, I got one thing, and here's the other. Oh, I can't get it. Okay. Okay, I got them. Okay, so let me show you. <laughs> it's so fun to have new friends who've never seen my stuff before. Oh, Beth. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Are you coming to this sparkle event, Beth? I ha I was hoping to meet you, and I'm not seeing you on the thing. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Um, so here's here. So when I said the door plate, and I was thinking about adhering a string and doing a or a spring, and doing a um, uh, steampunk thing. Um, this was what I was thinking. Something like this. It's been a long time, you guys. So you can go to YouTube, Tammy Loves Vintage, and type in steampunk. You'll probably find that, unless it was a group project. Um, this one was a group project. This is what I was. This is an old wooden architectural piece that I've had for years, years. It's been in my box, and I've never come up with anything to do with it. And look what we did. We, we did. I added a little wooden um, bead. And then this is the stick it comes on, and I just covered it with old paper. I covered the stick. I've got three of them, different sizes. And this was those little fuzzy, cheap $2 um, bunnies, and we covered it, and yeah, I love it. I love it, and I'm so happy. I don't know how many times I pulled that to put in a sale, and I thought, gosh, someday I might want it. So I'm glad I didn't. I still didn't get that stinking spring high enough, darn it. But I sure tried. So so we have three springs for today in our March into Spring project. There's one. Here's one. Oops, I'm going to have to glue that down too. It's sticking. Uh, it, I mean, it keeps flipping. So here's another. This is a clock spring. We made a little wreath. And then here is our third spring right there that I tied onto the bottle. So here's what I was picturing in my my crazy mind was this would be on a table this would be like on the wall behind and then this would be hanging off of like a lamp which what looks a little bit long compared makes the bottle look easy <laughs> I could cut it down and make it smaller but anyway in my brain that's what I that's what I came up with oh look and I could even have this here and actually I could even for Easter have my bunny <laughs> We can just go wild. So <laughs> pretty much everything I make looks like this. So that's why everything kind of coordinates in my, in my house. And then the last thing, since we still have four minutes. So um, uh, um, DNL uh, DNL Create is up next. Don't cut it. Okay, yeah, because I probably won't leave them all together. But um, last thing I want to show you. This is what we're working on, the fly on the wall, um, night before last, because I had a live sale, um, so I've been shipping. 
but this is an old lamp base, a napkin ring, adhered together, painted to make a match. Then we, I taught you how, we, Julie and I taught you how to stiffen, um, which you won't believe what we used. You'll never guess. Don't even try because you're not going to guess. And then uh, we did this. Now it's, it's way not done. The best part isn't even here yet. Um, it's not done but it's close. And so then we added a finial and this is a paper mache. Although I got to tell you, we were really liking those speckled foam ones from Walmart better. The paper mache kind of lets go when you get it wet. This one's got like a, uh, I'm not sure you can hear it. Can you, you can see it a little bit of a bubble back there. So I had to change. I wanted to plaster it out like this one is. And I was hoping this would crackle. I, we kind of experiment in there. I was hoping this would crackle and it didn't. I mixed crackle. Oh, it did a little bit, but not like I wanted it to. Crackle, um, Mod Podge and paint. And then we're gonna adhere this and do the same thing as that. But So this one is plaster and this one is an old um, table doily or whatever. Whew, everybody's Everybody okay? <laughs> did, I, did I overwhelm everybody? Oh my gosh. Thank you girls for having me. Thank you, um, Joy Lynn. Thank you, DNL Create. Thank you to the Crazy Mom Creations. Thank you girls for having me in your group. And thank you to Craft Around the Clock for sharing their um, cra uh, crazy crafting crew group into the craft around you clock uh, craft around the clock it's so it's so fun to know i'm i'm everywhere <laughs> so hi you guys thank you so much for joining me i hope you like i think this is my favorite of everything that i made today this is my favorite of course i've made so many tassels and bottles so for me this is very um very new and different so uh, that's probably why i like it so much but Anyway, thank you all for having me. It's, what do I have? One more minute. She said, make sure you go through the whole time. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my glasses are dirty. Thank you. Um, hi, Catherine. Hi, Glinda. Um, thank you, Rhonda. Thank you so much. So you guys, if you want to see me again, push the follow button. I don't go live all the time like these crazy women do. I go live when I get a bright idea. Um, I spend a lot of time in our group. It's $15 a month, or you can do a year and get the last month for free. If you do ha um, exclamation point link tree, the link will come up for my website, and it's there's a post on my website. So, okay, it's time. Is it time? One minute. Thank you all. I'll, I'll look at your comments, and my heart will feel warm. Uh, it's exclamation point L-I-N-K-T-R-E-E. -E. All one word, all lowercase. Bye-bye. Thanks again.